Vice fares don't belong to a particular county and don't respond to arbitrary lines drawn on a map. They're a unique natural resource that transcends those boundaries. So here today at the Euromabs conference, we're bringing people from 29 different countries to first of all celebrate our own biosphere, which is unique, but also to celebrate the international UNESCO layer that's on top of that. Having the Yormab conference in Dublin Bay, it's quite special because we have had a lot of input into the workshops and the field trips and we try to bring in all types of elements into the, the conference. I think it's very important that it's held in Dublin because it shows that um, biodiversity is not something that is in nature far away, that we people are part of nature and that we have to take care of it. Dublin Port Company is one of the partners of the Dublin Bay Biosphere Partnership. Dublin Port is smack bang in the middle of the biosphere and we're very cognizant of where we are and how important the environment is not only to Dublin Bay but beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, delegates, you're very welcome to Euromab 2019 Dublin. It's great to have everybody here and it's great to see so many familiar faces. UNESCO is grateful that Ireland is hosting for the first time the Euromap meeting, giving us the opportunity to learn more about its history, its culture, its biodiversity, its sustainable development actions and activities in its two biosphere reserves, the Dublin Bay Biosphere Reserve and the Kerry Biosphere Reserve. We are here to be a part of this family, to meet people, to learn from each other, exchange experiences and learn different angles of how to manage and how to engage people in the biosphere reserves. It's a unique opportunity to express ourselves, to give voice to young people, which is really crucial because youth is present and also our future. It's time now that we take the lead and take the future in our hands and we say what we have to say. I think it's time to raise our voice. It is very interesting to be over here to see that we're no different. We are, you know, iconically different within the United States, but we're no different as people negotiating, having discussions, the general good of preservation and utilization consciously is coming together on a global scale. The challenge is getting people to connect with this story is a lot of the roots of this is based in quite hardcore science. So there's a bit of a translation job to be done to persuade a network of primarily scientists to tell stories with emotion and passion and connection to the people they're talking to. And when we get to feel those connections, when you walk out into an amazingly beautiful place or you feel the connection between people and between communities, between cultures. That's what's going to bring people together around what needs to happen. Mm -hmm.